Heathrow Express is celebrating its 18th birthday. The airport service, which is one of the world's fastest, has ferried nearly 100 million people to date since it first opened in 1998. But it's also Britain's most expensive train journey per mile, breaking its own record earlier this year by raising fares by nearly 9%. Heathrow Express Director Fraser Brown joins me this morning. Fraser, very good to have you with us. How innovative was this service when it first launched? I think I'm right in saying back in 1998. Yes, if we wind ourselves back to 1998, the summer of 1998, uh, Prime Minister Tony Blair at the time came and opened the service. It was privately funded, uh, completely privately funded as a project, and it was very innovative. Innovative is an interesting word now because innovative meant a payphone on the, on the train. And, you know, we, we, we think now and our customers are, are desperate to make sure that we've got the Wi-Fi right, which we were the first train company to put on the train in 2009. Uh, and but to think back to, to then and to have pay phones and indeed it even stopped uh, for a few, uh, a few days before it went fully live outside the uh, airport and you had to get a bus in. So a lot has happened in uh, 18 years. We've carried, as you said, nearly 100 million people and we're providing a vital link really between this great city and the UK's only hub airport in Heathrow. Mm -hmm. and it's a link that, that's not cheap though, is it? I mean, I mentioned you're uh, the most expensive per mile in the country. Why is it so expensive? Well, customers at Heathrow have a choice. They can go with a taxi, they can go on the underground, or they can go on Heathrow Express. And, and we've carried over 100 million customers very successfully, and they're very happy with the service. The National Rail Passenger Survey talks about reliability at 94%, the speed, which is the key thing that our customers want. 97% of our customers are happy with that. And overall satisfaction at 91% says that customers are choosing Heathrow Express because of the speed, the convenience, and the quality of the service that we offer. But by the very nature of that, you're asking people who are choosing to use that service, people that can't afford to spend £36 for a return ticket, would feel very differently, I'd imagine. So what we've done is actually recognise that some customers want uh, different choices. They might be leisure passengers travelling, uh, perhaps off peaker at the weekend. So last September we've launched uh, online pricing, which allows customers, if they purchase in advance, to get a single ticket from £5.50. So we're giving customers choice, not only in the way that they get to and from the airport, whether it, as I say, be a taxi, uh, or the Underground or indeed Heathrow Express, but if they want to choose us, and we would love them to do so, they've got choice in the types of tickets that they can buy. Interesting you mentioned uh, payphones were all the rage when you first launched this service. What does the future hold? How do you see things developing? Well, the future for rail in general at Heathrow is very exciting because we've got Crossrail coming to the airport uh, in a couple of years' time, which will be brilliant, both for our customers and for the community at Heathrow that calls Heathrow their place of work. There's 76,000 of us uh, at the airport and providing you know, really great links across the city, from the east of the city all the way across to Heathrow is fantastic. Um, and in terms, in terms of the growth of Heathrow Express, you know, we continue to see growth in passengers. Um, and we would imagine that things like the Wi-Fi upgrades that we've done, the innovative ticketing that we're doing, uh, we'll just see that increase more and more. We've got 490 colleagues that call Heathrow Express their place of work with over 40 nationalities. So we're really welcoming, uh, and we take that responsibility seriously, welcoming the world to London.